Do you have a difficult time meeting and connecting with people in social gatherings? If so, then you need to learn how to be approachable socially. Today, I'm about to share with you the exact same process that I've used to build rapport with anybody very quickly. My name is Mike Macapinlock. I help STEM professionals improve their social confidence. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single week. If you're wondering how to attract people in your life, you need to get them to like you right away. By doing so, you'll open up more doors for you. You'll be able to make friends, attract a quality partner, and advance in your career much faster. That being said, here are 10 actionable tips that you can implement right away. All right, let's get into it. Tip number one is to get some feedback. Personally, I've worked with a lot of introverted engineers, programmers, and developers in the past. Because they're paid based on their technical expertise, they're not really required to interact with people all that much. As a result, they don't get a lot of feedback on how they're coming across. Remember, the first step to change is awareness. If you want to figure out how to be approachable socially, you need to know how others perceive you. You might be doing some things that are putting people off unknowingly. The sooner you can fix those mistakes, the more quality connections you're going to make. To help you implement this, ask someone you trust to tell you what kind of impression you're giving off to others. Just a heads up, you're probably going to hear some things that might hurt you. My advice is to keep an open mind and not take anything personally. Take the feedback that you receive seriously and be willing to make the necessary changes before you go out and socialize. But if you want to get results much faster, consider working with a social skills coach. That way, you'll have expert guidance and have someone keep you accountable as well. You'll make fewer mistakes because you'll have a proven plan to follow. As a result, you'll make progress very quickly and finally be able to get this part of your life handled. Tip number two is to manage your emotions. Have you ever been around someone who's sad or angry? Even though they're not saying much, you can tell if there's something off about them based on their overall vibe, right? Keep in mind that whatever you feel, others feel as well. If you're wondering how to be approachable socially, you have to be able to manage your emotions. If you want others to feel good around you, then you have to be able to create that feeling within yourself first. If you're not doing it already, I highly encourage you to start a meditation practice. Spend a few minutes each day to close your eyes and focus on your breathing. And then, observe your thoughts without any judgment. Just watch them come and go. If you do this long enough, you'll be able to identify what you're thinking about and question your limiting beliefs. You'll be able to reframe them into something that empowers you, which will improve the way you feel. As a result, you'll become less reactive, especially during stressful moments. When you can manage your emotions well, people will feel more comfortable around you. The better you are at doing this, the more charismatic you'll come across. Tip number three is to think of what's good about you. Let me ask you a question. How can you expect others to like you if you don't even like yourself? If you want to know how to be approachable socially, stop beating yourself up mentally. Avoid ruminating about your past mistakes and your perceived flaws as well. Instead, what you'll want to do is to shift your focus. Make a conscious effort to think of what's good about you and all your previous accomplishments so far. In fact, this is one of the best confidence building exercises that I know. By doing so, you'll realize that you're not doing as bad as you may have assumed. You'll see yourself as someone worth getting to know, and you'll be less intimidated by others. This will definitely improve your self-image and raise your self-esteem. You'll feel at ease in social situations, which will allow you to show your true personality more. Tip number four is to avoid being negative. Have you ever been around someone who complains a lot? If you have, then you know it's not a good experience, right? If you want to figure out how to be approachable socially, avoid being negative. It's emotionally draining to be around someone like that. Personally, I keep my distance away from those people. Look, we all have bad days. Sometimes, things just don't go our way. But if you want to give off a great impression to others, avoid dumping your emotional baggage on them. People can only empathize with you so much until they get fed up with your complaining. If you want to succeed socially, make an effort to find things to be thankful for. The more you focus on what's going well in your life, the more of it you're going to get. Not to mention, you'll also become a more pleasant person to be around. Tip number five is to dress appropriately. As the saying goes, you never get a second chance to create a great first impression. That's why you have to take your appearance seriously. To prove my point, imagine how you treat someone who's wearing a well-tailored suit compared to someone who's wearing a baggy hoodie. Very differently, right? If you're wondering how to be approachable socially, you need to dress appropriately. To help you get started, research the event that you plan on attending. Figure out what everybody else will be wearing and put together your outfit accordingly. Whether it's casual or formal, make sure your clothes are clean and well-fitting. Remember to groom yourself properly as well. 
If you want to stand out in a good way, I recommend you add something eye-catching to your outfit. For me, I have a nice hat that I typically wear whenever I go to any gathering. I can't tell you how many people have complimented me about it and asked me where I got it from. And if you think about it, it's much easier to create more quality connections if others are coming up to you, right? To help you implement this, you can wear a cool tie, a nice bracelet, or a unique looking jacket. When you look like an interesting person to talk to, people are a lot more likely to start a conversation with you. Tip number six is to follow your curiosity. We all have an innate desire to feel important. If you want others to be interested in you, you have to be interested in them first. If you want to know how to be approachable socially, make sure you follow your curiosity. The next time you interact with someone, remember to be present. Give the person you're talking to your full and undivided attention. Lean forward to show interest and not in agreement to acknowledge what they're sharing. By doing so, you'll make anybody you talk to feel more seen, heard, and understood. They'll have a positive impression of you and they'll look forward to seeing you again. Tip number seven is to have an open body language. The majority of your communication is nonverbal. It's not just what you say, but how you say it matters too. If you want to learn how to be approachable socially, you need to have an open body language. From what I've noticed, those who struggle socially make the mistake of always crossing their arms or legs. This prevents others from connecting with them because they look intimidating. In order to appear more friendly, make sure you stand up straight, pull your shoulders back, and keep your arms to your side. Maintain proper eye contact and have a genuine smile on your face. By doing these things, you signal to others that you're not a threat and that you're open to interacting with them. As a result, you'll be able to connect with more people in any social situation. Tip number eight is to avoid being argumentative. Keep in mind that everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Just because you don't agree on something doesn't invalidate what they think. If you're wondering how to be approachable socially, you have to be empathetic. Stop trying to change people's minds and try to prove them wrong. Remember, getting to an argument is a quick way to end any conversation. That's why you should always make an effort to see things from other people's point of view. You don't even need to agree with them. You just have to understand where they're coming from. Instead of getting into a heated debate about something controversial, focus on finding commonalities instead. Keep in mind that familiarity builds comfort very quickly. That's why we like those who are similar to us. The better you are at relating to others, the more charismatic you'll come across. Tip number nine is to remove any barriers. Going to a social gathering can be nerve wracking, especially if you tend to be quiet and reserved. From what I've noticed, those who struggle socially create barriers as a defense mechanism because they feel so nervous. For example, some people pull out their phones to look busy. Some will clutch a drink close to their chest and some will even hide behind physical objects. If you want to know how to be approachable socially, avoid doing any of those things at all costs. People will assume you don't want to be bothered and it's going to hold you back from creating more meaningful relationships. Instead, make it easy for others to start a conversation with you. The next time you're at a social gathering, be in the moment. Keep your phone in your pocket and don't act busy, especially if you're not. As mentioned before, have an open body language, make eye contact, and smile at others. By doing these things, more people are going to be inclined to interact with you. Tip number 10 is to assume people like you. Your mind and body are interconnected. When you change one, the other follows. From what I've noticed, those who experience a great deal of anxiety tend to be so worried about what others think of them. As a result, they act standoffish to protect themselves from getting rejected. And because they don't look friendly, not many people want to interact with them. If you want to figure out how to be approachable socially, you have to change your assumptions. Instead of always thinking others won't like you, why not do the opposite? Take the lead and be warm towards people right away. When you assume that you'll get along well with others, then you'll act in ways to make that happen. To help you with this, just imagine how you treat an old friend that you haven't seen in a while. That's exactly what you want to be focusing on when you meet people for the first time. Remember, you get more of what you think about the most, so be mindful of what you focus on. When you make an effort to see the best in others, they'll do the same to you as well. If you're shy and technically skilled and you want to know how to approach and talk to anybody, remember to download your free social confidence cheat sheet. The link is in the description below. If you're tired of struggling socially and you want to learn more about our social skills coaching program, book your free consultation today and let's connect. The link is in the description below as well. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who you know who could benefit from it. And now, let's turn it to you. Which one of these steps are you going to implement first? Are you going to work on having an open body language or are you going to assume people like you? Leave me a comment below and let me know. All right, that's it for me for now and I'll see you in the next video.